Hello OTD fans, people, viewers, audience, parents, whoever. Um, I am here with Kristen Aguinaldo, Hi. one of the feature artists of Outreach Through Dance. Um, Kristen, we saw your piece earlier, I believe, something about Rosa Parks. Do you want to describe it a little bit for us? Um, yes, the piece is about uh, the situation with Rosa Parks and um, I guess the inspiration for this, it kind of is a little off, but I saw, uh, I went to one of our dance competitions and I saw props being used and then all of a sudden I was like, oh, I, this could be used kind of like a bus and then it just came and go, Rosa Parks! And I don't think it's, to me at least, it, it, I've never seen that piece being done and um, it was a good challenge for me to do this on my own and to see where I could put it and um, the cast was great and I knew they would they would make my vision come true so um, yeah so you put together like plenty of solo projects in the past before right yeah for the most part yes. yeah so I mean um, do you tend to work with the same people like is it mainly the kids from studio 429 and like um, cookies members like why why did you choose like the cast that you chose this year? Well for the first two years It was actually only um, Our junior kids at our studio and I chose to do that because of the What this show meant to me? I felt like you know, we're trying to connect our community But you know giving the kids an opportunity to meet a child and to I guess See what they go through and how fortunate they are and how they can help the community better themselves and each other and I like that was the one thing that really made me connect to my kids but this year I chose to do it with uh, some of the other people on cookies and um, I think overall I usually do work with like the people that I've trained mm -hmm. um, mainly because I already know their strengths and uh, we work well together so yes. but I would of course I would love to reach out more maybe in the future to other people that I don't know and um, yeah see where it goes from there cool um, so this is your third year doing OTD, mm -hmm. so you're pretty familiar with like how everything works um, and you're pretty familiar with just the community in general, like you've been to all the major competitions, you've been through the circuit, you've been to like all the little exhibition acts on the side and like you know how all the shows work, um, but OTD there's a, there's a different like feel to it. Yes. There's definitely like something different about like, like why the dancers do this and like you know what they do when they come here, like what, like, how is it different for you and like why do you think people keep doing this show? I think it gives you a sense of um, being more humble and um, giving back to people rather than, you know, I mean, dance competitions are cool and we all love to go to them and it's an entertaining and I enjoy it all the time, but there's something about this show that can really bring us together and knowing that we're doing it for one reason and that's not to win. And I think that's one thing that really I always try to teach like my kids and even cookies that it's not always about that and, you know, I think that through this we truly and genuinely have fun because there's no, I guess there's no goal but to help, mm -hmm. you know, and yes. um, I like that when everybody comes here, everybody is just happy to see each other and, yeah. you know, supporting each other. There's no teams here. I mean, like, there's no, like, you're representing just this team. Yes. I think we're all representing each other and it's a good way for especially San Diego to come together because we don't have a lot of opportunities like this to dance on each other's projects and stuff. So it's cool to see, you know, like you get to dance with your old homies and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, definitely. So, yeah. I, and Mel, like for putting the show on for three years now, it's it's a blessing to have her do this and I support her 110% and I'm glad that, you know, people still come out to the show because it's it's a great asset to our community. Yeah. All right.